it's Rachel from All About the House. That's um, No Spaces All About the House. You can find me on Etsy or also have my own website www.allaboutthehouseprintables.com.au. So I sell printable planners and organization tools including planner stickers, printable planners, my recipe binder printables, calendars, heaps of different types. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a monogram to one of my binder covers. So I have heaps of different binder cover sets in my shop. If you purchase one of these ones which says editable monogram binder covers, you can add your own monogram. So I've got a few different types, pretty gold ones, um, etc. So I'm going to show you how to edit one of these to add your monogram. So you can add a three letter monogram or a one letter monogram. I'll upload another video where I want to show you how to add your own text if you don't want a monogram, if you want to add a name or a text or you want to add um, like wording instead of a monogram, so household binder or the months of the year or Casey's planner, etc. So when you purchase one of my binder cover sets, you'll receive both PDF and JPEG file format. The PDF is pre-formatted to be editable so you can type in your monogram in this font style and print or you can use the JPEG if you want to add text or you want to add a different type of monogram or other type of wording. So it's an instant download so when you purchase you receive the files straight away then just save them to your computer. So to add your own monogram just navigate to where you have your file saved on your computer and double left click. The PDF will open in Adobe Reader if you don't have this already installed on your computer make sure you download it, it's free, I'll include the link below this video. So when you open one of the files it will look like this. So if you left click in this um, shaded box here you can then start typing your monogram. So for a one letter monogram you would just hold down shift and press the letter that you want it to be. So if your name was um, Georgie you might have G. If you've got a, you want to use a three letter monogram you might have L for Laura, S for Smith and then J for Jane. A monogram convention is first, last, middle. So the last name is the letter in the middle and that one's usually the biggest. Um, so your last name or your family name and then the first letter is your first name and the last letter is your middle name. So if your name is Laura Jane Smith it would be LSJ. You can use um, type in any numbers, uh, sorry, any letters that you want and it will automatically align it to the center of the frame. So when you're happy with your monogram that you've added in to the template, you can then print it. The computer's just being a little slow. So when you're happy with it, just go File, Print. I have a um, whole blog post where I've got detailed step-by-step -step instructions for printing. For example, if you want borderless, which means that it will not have a white border on all sides, which is what it will be pre-formatted to do, I use Canon printers and I highly recommend them. So at the moment I'm printing this, which is a letter size template. It's a letter size binder cover onto A4 size paper because I live in Australia and we use A4 page size. You can print the binder covers at any size that you want. So if you want to print it at half page size, you can easily do that. Or Erin Condren planner cover size, which I think is 7 by 9 inches. If you want to make your own custom cover, um, laminate it. Or if you're using another type of planner, like the plum paper, or you want to add a uh, spiral, get it spiral bound at your local office supply store. If you're making a your own printable planner, you can print it at any size that you want. It doesn't have to only be eight and a half by eleven inches or U.S. letter page size. So I've got a detailed step-by-step -step video, um, sorry, step-by-step -step blog post where I have screenshots of what settings to choose. But essentially, you just go properties and then change the um, page size over here and you can also enter in custom so if I make it letter size and then select OK it now fits letter size because I'm printing onto letter size if you go back to properties make sure that borderless is ticked and then it'll come up with this media types your printer may be different this is what my printer comes up with and I always just choose plain paper I recommend printing binder covers onto cardstock for extra durability. You can print them on plain paper, um, but I recommend cardstock or if you print on plain paper to laminate so they're um, more durable. 
I also have um, divider tabs if you want to add, for example, January or to December or miscellaneous notes, meal planning, etc. If you want to make your own custom binder. If you want your colors to really pop, then I recommend using glossy full sheet label paper. I'll include a list below this video where I recommend you can purchase it from. Um, Amazon and eBay, I personally get mine from eBay. It doesn't have to be Avery full sheet label paper. It can be any type of brand of label paper or photo paper. And using glossy sticker paper or photo paper will really make the colors pop when you print it. So just go plain paper if you're going to print it on plain paper or whatever type of paper that you want. If you want to use sticky paper or photo paper, etc. And then select OK. Borderless means that it won't have a white border on all sides around your page, which is what most printers will do by default. So make sure you've got borderless ticked. If you don't want it in color, just tick grayscale, but I do want it in color. And then print standard, uh, print quality, it'll be standard. Sometimes some printers, if it's a sort of like a lower, not a high spec print model, will only let you choose standard. Um, if you untick borderless, it will then usually let you choose high. If you've got the option, always choose high if it's available and when we change it to borderless it changes to standard on this low spec model which is the Canon MG 2100 which is my backup printer this one's a couple of years old so they may have updated the technology by now as well and then paper source is just your usual front tray portrait because it's not um, it's not like this it's actually portrait page orientation so obviously select portrait you can then choose up here, standard, photo printing, etc. They're basically the settings that I choose. Your printer may look different. Um, just make sure that you've got the size that you want it to print at. Choose high print quality if it's available or the highest print quality. Change the media type or the paper type to the type you're actually printing on, whether it be plain paper, cardstock, glossy, sticker paper, full sheet, or photo paper. Make sure that borderless is ticked if you don't want a white border around the cover on all sides. And then you just select print when you're happy with that. So that is how you add your own monogram um, to one of my binder covers. If you have, um, say, other family members that want to add their own monogram, that's fine. I don't mind if you share the files with just your family. But if you've got a whole bunch of friends that want to use it, then you can you please link them to my shop um, because it's really only for your personal use. These are not to be used commercially. It's for your personal use only. So I don't mind if you print a couple to make some notebooks to give as gifts to friends, but you can't sell them and profit from them because they are my copyright designs. So personal use only, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Um, again, you can find me at www.allaboutthehouseprintables.com.au. Thanks.